Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about NMOS NAND gate. So NMOS is a logic family like uh, which is coming under MOS logic family. So uh, this NMOS transistor is also used to create NAND gate and NOR gate. So in this video, I am going to explain how a NAND gate is going to be realized using NMOS transistors. <coughs> So already we know in order to create any particular logic function, no resistance is being used. No resistance is being used. So all the resistors must also be made up of the corresponding transistors. So here in our case we are using NMOS logic. So all the transistors, all the resistors must be made up of NMOS logic only. So NMOS transistor can be used as a resistor when we are short circuiting the drain and gate as we have seen in the previous video. Okay, this is the substrate terminal and this is the source terminal. Source and substrate must be connected together. This is the source terminal, this is the substrate terminal. So it exhibits a resistance of 100 kilo ohms between drain and source. <coughs> between drain and source okay this is the resistance now coming to the NAND gate let us consider NAND operation y is equal to a b bar let us consider y is equal to a b bar that means a two input NAND operation I am going to explain here so two inputs are there now in the pull up position I told you already there are two configurations for creating NMOS logic circuit. One is pull up device and one is pull down device. This is regarding pull up. Pull up always it should consisting of only one transistor that is nothing but a short circuited gate and drain transistor which is acting as a resistance. Okay. Okay. Resistance is just made up of this particular transistor this is regarding pull up what about the pull down pull down consists of now the number of transistors in the pull down must be equal to the number of inputs of your logic function how many inputs are there? two inputs so how many transistors must be there in pull down in pull down there should be two transistors, two NMOS transistors, two NMOS transistors. So two NMOS transistors, how they should be connected, they, whether they are connected in parallel or series. For NAND operation, see for multiplication you can say for product, for product operation. Product, product is nothing but A dot B, this is the product. <coughs> Okay, so dot I am saying about dot not for complement. Okay, by default when you are realizing the logic function in the first stage itself, you will be having complement output. Okay, that is the MOS technology uh, basic nature. Okay, you are not going to create any complemented action, but basically the MOS and CMOS are acting as complemented outputs. They are giving complemented outputs without any uh, change in the complemented actions <clears throat> if you want to get original form then you have to pass it through again an inverter okay so for product operation for product operation the NMOS in pull down must connect in series remember this okay for product operation the NMOS transistors in the pull down network I am talking about pull down network this is regarding pull up okay we are not worrying about pull, uh, pull up now pull down is having a series of transistors up to series two transistors they can they can be connected in series so A and B now let us draw the circuit diagram how it is going to happen as a NAND gate. This 
this is what the pull up device a short circuited gate and a drain source and substrate now coming to the pull down there must be having two transistors in series for product realization this is the gate terminal this is the gate terminal source and substrate must be connected together source and substrate must be connected together okay this is the input a and this is input b this is output y is equal to a b bar okay and this is plus vc vdd or we can say plus 5 volts okay here the transistors nmos 2 transistors two nmos transistors which are applied with the input they are connected in series and one remember one more thing here a and b are not in proper uh, like uh, there is no specific condition that a should be connected here and b should be connected here we can take either b here or a here that is of your wish but it definitely acts as a NAND operation okay there is no specific condition that you have to use this transistor as b and a okay now coming to the operation of this particular NAND gate how it is acting as a how it is acting as NAND operation so how many when there are two inputs how many combinations are there how many combinations are there four combinations are there so a b and y let us fill this table based on the operation and inputs are 0 0 0 1 and 0 1 1 so 0 0 means 0 0 means when both the transistors a and b now let us name the transistors <coughs> this is q1 q2 q3 see here q1 is always having a resistance of 100 kilo ohms 100 kilo ohms it is acting as a moderate resistor from this terminal vdd to the output terminal okay vdd to output terminal there is no specific on off conditions for this particular transistor remember because it is not dependent on the input condition <coughs> So R is equal to 100 kilo ohms existed because of this one. Because of on and off conditions of Q2 and Q3, there is a short circuit or open circuit and depend output conditions are depending. Now let us see the first condition when A is equal to 0 and B is equal to 0. What about the A equal to 0, B equal to 0, Q2 and Q3 of? We know very well Q2 of Q3 of so what about the circuit the circuit is having a single resistor in the pull up it is nothing but 100 kilo ohms plus 5 volts and the remaining two transistors are open circuited so it is output y okay what is the what is the output now the current is directly flowing like this so y is equal to plus 5 volts y is equal to plus 5 volts so take it as 1 plus 5 volts means 1 now take the other condition a is equal to 0 b is equal to 1 again we are having the pull up transistor which is having 100 kilo ohms here and it is plus 5 volts and in the pull down network a is 0 b is 1 so a is equal to 0 means q2 is in q2 is in off state q3 is in on state so that makes q2 of of or on 0 means off q2 off and q3 on so q2 off this is q2 and q3 on it is off in if any one of these two transistors is off there is no connection between output and ground so again 
output is equal to plus 5 volts because the current is having a direct path to the output. So again, it is going to be 1. Now coming to the third case, A equal to 1 and B is equal to 0. A is equal to 1 and B is equal to 0. What about the A equal to 1? Q2 is equal to on and Q3 is off because B is equal to 0. Again the same situation but the transistors are altered. First transistor is on but the second transistor is off. There is no change in the output Y is equal to again plus 5 volts. R is equal to 100 kilo ohms. Until and unless there is a short circuit between output and ground, the output goes to 0. Now coming to the other case, A is equal to 1, B is equal to 1, last case. That makes the Q2 on and as well as Q3 on. When both are on, there exists a short circuit in both the transistors Q2 and Q3. Q3, this is Q2 and it is R is equal to 100 kilo ohms. So plus VCC. So what happens now? Output is directly connected to ground. Output is directly connected to ground. So output is equal to 0 volts. Okay. So if you take this as 1 and output is equal to 0. So this operation is nothing but your NAND operation. NAND is nothing but AND complement. AND is when both are 1's output is 1. In remaining cases output 0. So NAND operation is a complement for that. See here we are not taking, we are not taking any complemented form. We are not taking any complemented network in the input. But basically the circuit itself gives the complement which is nothing but NAND operation. Okay. Suppose if you want to create AND operation, the output of this one must be passing through inverter. Then it will create AND operation. Okay. So this is about NAND using AND MOS. In the next video, I will explain NAND for NOR operation. Oh, sorry, NMOS for NOR operation. Thank you.